Welcome to Great Center, Center 123. One, two, three. In these videos, I will show you everything you need to know to design and set up Grade Center efficiently in three steps. I'll be moving along quickly, but you can replay areas where you need reinforcement. This video is step one, designing our assessment strategy and determining our necessary categories. The step two video will cover creating column and category associations. And in the step three video, we will weight our columns and our categories according to our assessment strategy. Now, before we actually have to enter Grade Center, we need to design our assessment strategy since this will drive how Grade Center is constructed. So, in our hypothetical course, we will be grading as such. So here I have the number of columns that I expect to use in parentheses, then the various column names and the percentages for assessment, and finally an indication as to whether these columns will be automatically created by Blackboard or manually created by the instructor. We access Grade Center in the control panel. And in full Grade Center, there are five particularly important selections from the top action bar, which I will use over the course of these three videos. In this order, Manage Categories, Create Column, Create Weighted Column, Manage Column Organization, and Work Offline. So now let's assess what we need for categories. One of our last steps in the Grade Center process will be to set weights for our assessment strategy percentages. When we set up weighting, we will have a choice to use individual columns or categories. Categories are used if you have multiple columns which comprise a single assessment area. Usually these multiple columns within that one assessment area will be averaged evenly. So let's take a look at Manage Categories. These existing categories permanently reside in Blackboard and cannot be deleted. The reason for that is that these categories are automatically attributed to gradable Blackboard content, such as tests, assignments, and discussion boards, when that content is created. Your understanding of that is quite important, and that will become evident as we proceed. Two other important points. First, those automatically attributed categories can be changed later. And second, when manually creating a column, you will have the option of placing that column in any category or no category. So let's carefully consider our existing categories and the possible need to create our own categories. We already have an existing category for assignments which we will need because there will be 12 separate assignment columns, so we are good there. That is true if we create assignments within Blackboard or if we have in-class assignments requiring manual column creation. As we build our Grade Center, I will do both automated column creation and manual column creation. Since I plan to create all of my quizzes in Blackboard, let's use the automated category of test so that we do not have to make a new quiz category and go through the process of changing the automated test category to a quiz category. Remember, whenever a test is created in Blackboard, it will automatically create a column and associate the test category with that column. The midterm exam will also be a Blackboard test, but since it comprises just one assessment area by itself, 20%, we do not need a category which is only necessary if we need to average out a number of columns within a specific assessment area. However, we will need to change the automated category of test to no category. That is very important or the midterm would be averaged in with all of the quizzes if it remained in the test category. Stay tuned as we do that in the next video, Step 2. The final exam will be an in-class event because it requires hands-on activities. So that will be a manually created column that does not require a category. A better context regarding the purpose for our category decisions will become more evident when we proceed in videos 2 and 3. Honest. Both projects and critiques will be manually created columns, and we will need to create a category for each. Using uppercase for manual categories distinguishes them from the others at a glance. Each created category has the checkbox option, 
so that they could be deleted. You cannot delete the permanent Blackboard categories. This concludes the Grade Center 123 Step 1 video on determining the assessment strategy and the necessary categories. The next video, Step 2, will cover setting up our column and category associations.